If these boots could talk, they'd have some stories to tell. I love my girl. I was willing to die for it. Following in his father's footsteps. My name is Edward Lavalis. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Army. Keeping us safe comes with sacrifice. It's no fun getting shot at. It's no fun watching your friends die. And it takes a toll on you mentally. A toll that followed him home. The guys and the women that lost their lives in Iraq is something else. Until you experience it, some people don't understand. Now 54, he's divorced and on his own. After recently relocating from Texas and Arizona to Las Vegas. It's been 25 years since I've been by myself. I've always had a family. So to be able to start over is scary. Sergeant Loveless is one of close to 150 veterans who is finding his way through the help of the Salvation Army. We're able to take that veteran immediately off the streets or from the VA office, be able to bring them into programs and services, collaborate with our community partners to be able to provide housing for veterans. It provides security for me for once. I know if I have uh, any type of episode as far as the nightmares or anxiety, I can always go down. They'll give me medical attention that I need. That's why I volunteer to try to give back because this place has been good to me. And my oldest daughter, she's so upset with me. She wants to know why would I choose a shelter over coming to stay with my family. But I tried to get her to understand. I, I want to stand on my own two feet. So as he embarks on his next journey. A few nicks and cuts, but they've done the job. They've done the job for America. They've been from Baghdad to Fallujah to Ramadi. And his combat boots. They have mi mixed match boot strings, you know. Serve as a constant reminder of where he's been and where he's headed. And just like this is a new challenge, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. It's weird, you know, because I sleep by myself at night. Sometimes nobody to talk to, but it's okay. Marty Glazer, The Now Report.